Welcome back. This is Two Step Equations, day four, and it's a lot, it's very similar to what we talked about yesterday. Um, obviously, we're talking about equations, and we're talking about we use the inverse operation on both sides in order to solve for x. And today, what our problems are going to look like, they're going to have division like x divided by 3, and then they're going to have subtraction. So they're going to look something like this. And as we've talked before, you have two operations, so you're going to do two inverse operations, and you're going to want to start with subtraction, and then do the division. You could do it the other way, but it's a lot more complicated. Don't make, don't make things too complicated. So we're going to start with the subtraction, which in this case, well, then you'll be adding to both sides. So let's look at our first example. x divided by 4 minus 2 equals 6. So we said start with the subtraction, which means we're going to add 2 to both sides. And we're going to get x divided by 4 equals 8. And then instead of dividing by 4, we're going to multiply by 4. That's how we get rid of the 4 on this side, and we get x by itself. And then x times 4 equals 32. Okay, actually I'll let you look at that again for a second. And then here we have two operations again. We have our division and our subtraction. So we're going to start with which one? You're right, subtraction. So we're going to do the inverse operation. So we will be left with x divided by 3 because negative 7 plus 7 equals 0. So that's gone, which is what we're trying to do is get stuff gone. Okay, And then 0 plus 7 is 7. I'll put that little line there on the 7. Okay, and then we're going to times both sides by 3, because this was divide by 3, and then we get x is equal to 21. And if you want to make sure that you did this correctly, of course, you could take the 21, you put it up here, 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 7 minus 7 is 0, and 0 equals 0. So yes, I did that correctly. That is a great way to check your work. So just remember, I just want to emphasize here so that you know what you're doing and you're not just being a robot following steps. But we do the inverse operation because it eliminates things from one side. And as long as, because we're trying to get x isolated by itself. And as long as you do something to both sides, it will keep the equation balanced. Okay, so just remember that. And yeah, good luck on your practice. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.